most wonderful people I've had the pleasure to meet. And let me just say this. We came to Kingston, we downsized, a lot of things had been challenging for us, working on these big projects, and we thought, let's just downsize and go back to Kingston, and we sold our place on the other side of the river, and moved into our loft, and we are like, what have we done? Where are we? Kingston, what is this town? And I started walking around with my camera and meeting people, and I met Nikki the Great was one of the first people I met, and that led to another person and another person, and then I, my old friend, Deborah, who came here from Silicon Valley, of all places, and became an artist. And by the way, you guys you know there's more artists per capita than any city in America, in Kingston, according to Business Week. <laughs> and I don't remember, I think it was Deborah that introduced me to Frank Waters, who's here with us tonight. So here's some of the pictures that I shot of Frank. He was so generous, opening his family and his time. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> But he was just so willing to let me into his world. And we went over there and met with him and we followed him around. And what I kind of did with everybody was I was aiming to get a portrait. And then I was aiming to do a short video interview. And ask, I asked five basic questions of everybody. What is, how long have you been here? You know, what gives you joy about Kingston? What, if anything, would you change about Kingston? You know, what are your hopes for your future? Those are just these basic questions, just to try to get a baseline of how people were feeling. I hope to go back and do more in-depth interviews with people because a lot of people had a lot to say that we didn't have time for in those short interviews. So those two things were the primary. But then it evolved with some people where I would just hang out with them and I ended up shooting photo essays of everybody and getting more than one portrait. So what you're gonna see today, I'm including outtakes that were not chosen for the exhibit in some of these today. I'm, I might be leaving some out, but it's kind of a mix of, the other th component is street photography. So I would just walk the streets of Kingston from time to time with Teresa. We love to walk around this town and we meet the most amazing people. And this is Frank, who is the executive director of, of uh, Kingston Midtown Rising and My Kingston Kids. Is that right? I was back then oh. of Kingston <laughs> Midtown Rising, but now... Just my kids. And this is one of Frank's daughters, one of his most beautiful daughters, so hopefully um, she was too put off by the photographer. <laughs> Jana, that's Jana. How old is Jana now? Four. Four, yeah. And uh, we had a really great day with Frank, and I see him around from time to time, but I hope to shoot you again some more, Frank. And I just wonder if you could just say a few words about my Kingston kids or anything that's concerning you in this town at this time. Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, it was a wonderful opportunity to be asked to be a part of such an amazing exhibit and folks talk so highly of Doug. Um, now I am the executive director and I was the founder, co-founder of My Kings and Kids. And basically the organization was created to produce and promote children-related events, programs, and activities. I came from the city about nine years ago. So when I came from the Bronx, my wife and I, my two kids, yes, the Bronx is in the house. <laughs> and um, when we moved here, you know, we were going back and forth to the city, as most of us do when we moved here for about three years. And then I realized, you know, this is an amazing place. And this is a place that I'm willing to stay, and I have to contribute to this community. So we started the organization. And it's an award-winning organization, probably received one or two awards every year for the last six years for the work that we're doing and um, we've been accepted by the community to where they call us Kingstonians we are part of this community. So thank you to, the, to, uh, to Doug and everything that you're doing, Center of Photography. We have a photography program, I guess that's appropriate to mention. Um, the photography program is for students um, from 13 to 18 years old that we've been doing for the last three years and we are looking to continue that program and partner with the Center of Photography and um, continue to help those children be able to learn about that craft, um, express their passion, and be able to get to connect with themselves through their work and their art. So thank you. to support what he's doing because he's doing great work.